is up you guys it's Madonna welcome back to my channel so I was having this conversation with my husband and I was like yo I need to make a video about this because this is so true and it's so relevant okay and so it's about money and I know that you guys like when I talk about like how much a PA makes because PAs can make over two hundred thousand dollars there are several PAs lots of PAs making well into the hundreds of thousands of dollars okay um but the average pa makes like over a hundred thousand dollars and so you can have that right but where do you start off you know what is the base that you start at and i think that that is a serious conversation that you need to have with yourself as a future pa in terms of what are you willing to start at and what are you willing to take with respect to your salary so let's get into the video right now Alright y'all, so again, we about to talk about some money, okay? We're talking about money, and I feel like it's it's essential, it's an essential part of the conversation that you should be having about the career that you're trying to get into because, you know, like we need money to survive, right? So let's talk about the market, okay? So we were having this conversation, my husband and I, and I was like, yo, you know, I feel like being a PA, but more so a new grad PA is like inflation in reverse and so what i mean by that is inflation is all about supply and demand okay you know this what is the supply is the supply high or is the supply low um in terms of demand okay and so for the pa profession and really the app profession in general because we are nps and pas are going after essentially the same jobs there are way too many of these APP, these advanced practice providers going after the same jobs, but not enough jobs. And so what does that mean for, for the market? What it means is, is that there are going to be things that you're going to be offered. There's going to be money that you're going to be offered. There are going to be various different incentives and benefits that you're, you're going to be offered that you're going to have to really contemplate, like, is this worth it? And it's just like if you were buying a house, you know, in the housing market, people were willing to give up their inspection, pay, like, 70, 80, $100,000 over asking price. They were willing to buy houses, never seeing it. They were willing to pay all cash. And this is the same thing that you're gonna have to consider doing when you're becoming a new grad PA. And so at the end of the day, I wanted to give you guys some pros and cons into taking that $80,000 job or not taking that $80,000 job. With respect to you coming out of school with maybe $100,000 or more worth of debt, what can what are you willing to do? What can you do, okay? A lot of these jobs as PAs, what they require of you is time, is experience, okay? And so when we're looking at experience, the more experience you have as a PA, the more experience you have in that particular, particular specialty, the more marketable you are. I saw a model where it showed that if you were a new grad PA versus like a seven year veteran PA, what you started off at in terms of what they were willing to offer you was significantly different. So as a new grad PA, you were offered significantly less than that veteran seven year um, PA. And then depending on how long you were with the company, your increase was significantly less as a new grad PA. So if you take that $80,000 job, you have the opportunity to now get the experience so that you can come in and say, all right, well, you know, I've been a PA for two years in this particular field. And because of that, you're able to get more money. So it might turn out in your favor at the end of the road if you take the $80,000 job now because you might be able to be significantly higher than $100,000 in two years. And this is something that you have to think about. What, what does that mean? Does that mean that I need to take that $80,000 job so that I can get the experience, so that I can now go to this job that I really want? And this is the dilemma that a lot of APPs are going through. What is it that I'm worth? right? What is my worth? But at the same time, what am I willing to give up? And so you really have to look at all of these pros and cons. So a pro to taking that $80,000 job is that, hey, you're making $80,000. You're able to start paying off your debt. You're able to get that experience that you want and build up your resume so that you can go ahead and go to that job that you really want to do. Okay. But 
if you're now on the con side, you're making $80,000 you have over $100,000 worth of debt. Once you hit that market of that bracket of like 80 up, you're getting taxed 24%. That's a quarter of, of your salary gone already to taxes. So in terms of that, now you have to think about, okay, on top of that quarter that's already gone out of my, my salary, I now have to pay back my loans, right? And so how much are you paying in your loans? How much can you actually afford? Another con is that you may be asked to be to do even more or your benefits may be really bad because you know at the end of the day it's like all right like you're just taking this because you're desperate okay because you don't want to lose that job and that is kind of how things work so if I say okay no I'm not taking that $80,000 the pro to that is you're not getting paid $80,000. You're gonna hold out for that job that's gonna pay you more than $80,000. You're going to be able to live the life that you want to live. You're going to be able to dictate some of the, the things that you, you wanna do and, and you're really in the driving seat, okay? Another pro is that you're making more money so that you're able to pay off your debt, okay? You're able to pay it off quicker or faster depending on how your life is set up. Are you able to live with your parents or not? Are you able to put more money towards this because you, again, are making significantly higher than $80,000? That's a pro. And that's a big pro, especially when you're coming out of PA school with over $100,000 in debt. All of these things are things that you really have to think about. So when you're looking at the pros and cons, you really, really have to sit down. Not if, you, if you're single, it's different, but if you have a family, you have to sit down with your family. But you really have to think about, okay, what is it that I'm willing to sacrifice? And so you guys, I really want you to think about this because it is something that I think a lot of people really kind of, we, we're just thinking about like, oh, well, no, I'm not, I'm not taking $80,000, but then you might sit out for months and months and maybe even a year and not be able to get a job because you weren't willing to take that $80,000. Because at the end of the day, the, the person who's offering this job is gonna be like, oh, okay, well, we're, we're offering $80,000. You know, that's what we're offering. And you come in and you're like, nah, nah, I'm not taking $80,000. Like, I'm worth more than $80,000. And they're like, all right, fine, fine. Because they can find somebody that is willing to take that $80,000. On the flip side, you might say, nah, I'm not taking that $80,000. And then you're able to get that job that you really want to get. And it's over $100,000 and you're able to do all the things that you want to do. So this is just some food for thought. You really got to look at it, the pros and cons. I'll list them out on the end of this video. It's, are you going to take that $80,000 to get the experience or are you going to hold out to get the money that you really want? It's up to you. Tell me what you would do. All right. If you guys haven't already done so, like this video, go ahead and subscribe and drop me a comment on what exactly you would decide to do. Are you taking that $80,000? 80,000 or you going with 100 what you what, what you doing okay and if you have any other comments or questions leave them in the comment section below please follow me on instagram at Island pa and on instagram and get that to university thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time